kayo. How are you doing these days? My ESL teachers. Hi! Okay. Today, we are going to tackle and I'm going to be teaching also for a new teachers who are just starting to be and the future ESL teachers here in the Philippines. Why here in the Philippines that I have been chosen? Kasi po, um, I would like to share my passion of teaching English for new teachers. And later, yes, for uh, those teachers who had this experience. Yeah, the most important for me. So we're going to be covering how to be an ESL teacher and what are the requirements that they you need in order to teach English online. And the ESL companies who could provide you students and also the lesson plans to follow. So are you guys ready? Okay, without further ado, let's get started. First and foremost, before you are planning to be an ESL teacher, we have this kind of pretty, pretty much requirements or we call that the specification to be an ESL teacher. Whether you are experienced or a new teacher, yes, we have a lot of companies who, you know, needed these teachers. Yes, but um, ano nga ba yung ESL teacher? Yeah, all the states, whether from public schools, ESL teachers, uh, stands for English of a second language. Yeah. Okay. So most of the teachers, teachers have their own bachelor's degree. Yes, at least. Or else, other ESL companies they are accepting it. But um, I didn't. I didn't know exactly about if they really accepted. It you know, without degrees, but as I, as I really think that, yeah, we really need a degree in order to be an ESL teacher for, okay? But other ESL companies like uh, Weble or 512, I guess, yeah, you need just only a high school diploma and that was okay, you can, you are good to go to these companies. But for highly paid ESL teachers, you need a bachelor's degree. <laughs> that, that, that could be a good advantage, diba? Sa mga experienced teachers who have their own bachelor's degree, we can be more, more paid than for those uh, ESL teachers who don't have a degree. That's just, that's just uh, quite different. But anyway, um, we're going to be talking about that later, diba? Because this video is only for how to be an AS, ASL teacher at uh, what are those requirements you need. Okay, so first and foremost, I would like to include if you would like to be a highly paid ESL teacher, I prefer that you have your own bachelor's degree at least, at least. Yes, well, some teachers, they have their own master degrees or even doctor <laughs> degree because they're they're more professional, and of course, they could also earn a lot of advantages of money, 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 <laughs> diba? <clears throat> so what are the requirements? It's very simple. I'm just going to show you how this it looks like. Yeah, very simple. Ano nga po yung uh, requirements is this. First, you need a noise cancellation microphone, camera, external camera and of course your computer yes laptop or computer whatever you have at home yeah you're good to go uh, and okay that's, uh, lastly I, I almost forgot you should have your own internet because how could you access to the world or connected to the world if you don't have an internet diba? it's pretty obvious so you lang 
that's all we need to become an ESL teacher. And then start and enjoying teaching. Diba? High five. No, just kidding. And uh, yeah, it's very important. And after you have completed the requirements, what you're going to be doing is that learn and know what kind of niche you would like to apply. Let's say, for example, you're, you're a uh, Bachelor of Information and Communications Technology, but that's totally fine, just like me. I graduated as an uh, information technology. They told me that uh, it's very far from English or teaching English. Well, uh, yeah could but i have used a lot of my knowledge being an information communication technology uh, way back then i got this course because i have so many programmers who are learning english online so i'm teaching a good presentations as well so i could i could really use and i've been working into some esl companies for their website how to improve their website and uh, I'm working to, I mean, different websites and <laughs> what else? Other related IT uh, relations. So I have really used my course. It's pretty relevant. And uh, if your niche is, let's say for example, you really love kids, right? uh, you really love kids, and uh, you're also really good in teaching kids. Then you could apply for an ESL companies who provided the students for you to teach kids. And then you could develop your talents in that, uh, you know, specific niche that you are, uh, you want to be like, yeah, kids, kids teacher like that. So we have a lot of things how to get your more students it's to determine your niche as well yeah you can also be an independent esl teacher just like me I, i'm kind of mix <laughs> independent and i work with companies and uh i i don't have i mean i'm not in a esl freelancer you know companies yeah just like that independent and I work with ESL companies. That's, that's what I do. Right? Okay, so we have already covered what, what are the requirements. And uh, the ESL companies that provided, you know, students and lesson plans. Okay, so mamimili tayo anong mga company na ito. <laughs> All right. A, a lot of teachers here, they're always asking me, Anong mga ESL teacher, I mean, ESL companies I've been working with. Okay, sasagotin ko na po yung mga tanong nyo, which companies I am working with. The first company I have worked with is that uh, Paris Kun Ekaiwa. Yes. Yeah, a lot of Paris Kun Ekaiwa teachers, maybe if they have seen my video, yeah, you can also join to this school. Yeah, where I have started teaching English online. I really love this company because they are very friendly. But way back then, um, this company, uh, this company just hiring, you know, all girls. So I guess it's not that really balanced. Because Singapore, we are all girls and sometimes we have a lot of insecurities, and these insecurities triggers us, ching! <laughs> and, uh, mm, you know what I mean. <laughs> okay, that's the first one, the parrot skin. Um, the second one I have worked with is Weblio. It's, you know, a very famous online dictionary in Japan. And from there, I have gotten a lot of students. I become a popular teacher in Weblio. Yeah. 
but I also have a lot of problems in web view. <laughs> One of that is, uh, oh my God, this is really a big mistake for me, but I'm gonna be telling you that later because that big mistakes, I mean, uh, that big mistakes na nagawa ko noon is that I have learned a lot until now. Um, what are what are these? Yeah, one thing is that they are preferring na you have to get your I know uh, tin number. Uh, the, the, you need to provide to them tin number. Okay. Yes, uh, tin number is very you know important to submit in Webview. But at first hiring. We didn't require you, but while you are in their company and while you are working with them, they're gonna be you are gonna be providing team uh, or you know about tax regulations, po, okay? And uh, napabayaan ko po siya hanggang sa lumobo ng lumobo yung tax ko until I reach uh, more than fifty thousand pesos. <laughs> Nakakaloka, di ba? Well, in fact, I'm just earning 40, 40 pesos for 25 minutes back in the day. <laughs> Nakakaloka talaga siya, I promise. And then I I have, I mean, increased my, my salary. Yeah, for around 75 pesos. Uh, 75 pesos lang for 25 minutes. Yeah, back in the day, okay? Back in the day. <laughs> Nakakaloka talaga. So, I was very shocked. Like, oh, 50,000 pesos. <sighs> so, I, I forced myself a lot. Yeah, that's, that's one of my biggest mistakes, by the way. It doesn't include to... I mean, it doesn't coverage to what I have written. There's just only three categories here how to be an ESL teacher and what are the requirements and the ESL companies that I have worked with. You lang po sana, but I have given you some some kind of information about me. <laughs> Di ba? Nakakaloka. Gubayad ako ng 50,000 pesos. So, yeah. That's just one of my mistakes back in the day. So, I hope you won't do it too. Yeah. You're not going to be penalized. You have to be very responsible to your tax and get your accountant if it's possible and if we could afford it <laughs> okay <laughs> okay so um after that i also worked um in preplay preplay is an international company who, who could provide you proper lesson plans and uh, also the students yeah so. Well, the good thing in Fair Play is that you're not going to be working there only for money because if you are working only for money, then you're going to be evicted. <laughs> no, joke lang. Um, what I mean is that kailangan po na showcase your, your teaching style there kasi a lot of students naghahanap po talaga sila ng permanent teachers. Yeah, or permanent teacher nila that could provide them a, lot, uh, a good teaching methodology or a very higher standard that could accelerate their English to become better. Diba? Ito yung mga hinahanap nila. So, first trial lessons for an hour. You're not going to be paid here. You are going to teach them to the best as, to the best you can. Okay, because if not, yeah, you're not going to get students here. So you have to show this your teaching style. <laughs> okay, and of course, pag-uusapan din po natin the other, um, you know, how you could apply to your job positions to these companies. Uh, but it doesn't include it here, diba? Bonus na naman. Dami natin bonus today. <laughs> okay, since I would really want to help 
those new ESL teachers. And of course, later than that, I would like to help the teachers who had the experience of five years above. Yeah, because I'm developing a kind of little bit mini course for you guys para naman uh, ma-improve yung uh, income natin and then your uh, teaching style. Yeah, that's the most important thing. At, you know, you're going to get more students in the future. Yeah, because um, how could you really be successful if you don't really share what you know? <laughs> diba? Um, it's just all process po kasi na um, if you're if you are thinking and wondering why I have been cho- I have been chosen to teach sa mga you know Filipinos, my co-Filipinos or ESL teachers na I would like to really help them. Yeah. Kasi mm, there are so many ESL teachers here in the Philippines. That's why I have been chosen here. And I would like to share to you guys the talents that I have. And uh, I hope I could see you in the future. Some of our, you know, like uh, we're going to be building our own empire <laughs> in the future. Right? So, um, you know, guys, if you have any questions, just comment down below some of the questions that you related to ESL teachers, ESL companies, how do you get students, just comment down below para alam ko and I'm going to be making the next video of this and uh, magpipentuhan ulit tayo. <laughs> okay? So, maraming pong salamat! Hanggang sa muli! Paalam! Bye-bye po! Bye-bye! Bye-bye!